Hello friends, this video on respiration in plants part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Do plants breathe? Glycolysis Fermentation Aerobic respiration The respiratory balance sheet Amphibolic pathway and respiratory quotient. So what are we going to talk about in respiration in plants? Now, have you ever thought of the fact that all of us, not only human beings, all different kinds of animals, they do work in some or the other form. So we just can't be lazy, we just can't afford to be lazy. Because in order to survive, we need food, we need energy and again in order to get food we need to do some hard work and again to do work you need energy. So you see everything is interrelated to each other, right? So whether you are doing some exercise or you are playing a game or you are doing some mental work, so everything involves usage of energy. So you would have observed that if you are fasting on a day, you do not eat anything since morning. By night, you will be too tired and weak to do anything. That's because since you have not taken food, you do not have the energy to do work. So that means all animals, they do work and they need some energy to do work. So from where do they get energy? We say the energy comes from the food, right? So when I say energy comes from the food, does that mean, suppose if I'm eating um, a loaf of bread, so does that mean that the bread is directly going to provide me the energy I want to do work? How can it be? Bread, what is bread? Bread is nothing but, uh, it is some carbohydrates and all those stuff being together in a bread. So how is it actually providing energy? So there is another process which is, which is taking place inside our body which actually helps to generate energy out of that bread which we are eating. So when we talk about respiration, we are going to talk about that process which helps to generate energy inside our body from the food which we eat. So th this is what in simple terms it is. So now it is not only about animals. When I talk about animals, things look very simple to you because we can relate to animals easily then we can relate to plants because we can actually see animals moving from one place to another doing a lot of work so we actually feel that okay they need a lot of energy but when it comes to plants we when we look at them we feel they are immobile they are just sitting at one place so why do they need so much of energy what big job are they doing but when you look at a plant even the plant is growing Right? So that growth is taking place due to a lot of changes inside a plant. The plant also needs the water, minerals, the nutrients, the food, everything. It needs everything. So from where all those things are coming? So the food is prepared by the plants with the help of photosynthesis. That is what we have discussed in our previous lesson. How the process of photosynthesis takes place. So plants also prepare food because they also need energy for a lot of things. So now the question is again, how is that food getting converted into the energy which the plant can utilize? And there comes the concept of respiration. So in this lesson, we are going to exclusively talk about respiration in plants. So we will not discuss much about animals, but we will discuss only in case of plants how respiration happens. However, the basic concept of the process remains the same for both plants as well as animals. So now when we talk about animals and plants, we say that okay, they need this much of energy, they need that much of energy. So what do they do? What big deal are they doing that they need so much of energy? Now when I talk about an animal, let us suppose I am taking the example of human being in case of animal because that is a most easily understood, that, is, that can be most easily understood by us. We can relate to human beings in the most easiest way. So when it comes to animals, they eat, 
they work, they, there are so many metabolic processes taking place inside their body, for example, the digestion, excretion, circulation. So, and all of these processes need some energy. And that is why when you look at the body of an animal, it is made up of the basic building block of the body is a cell. So inside every cell, so many processes are taking place, right? So inside every cell, you are having like different cell organelles, each of them performing their own role. So there you have the powerhouse as well, the mitochondria, which is the powerhouse of the cell. It helps to generate the energy which is required by a cell to perform all the cellular processes. So if you see, animals do so many things and that is why they need energy. Now when we talk about plants and plants also, they perform a lot of activities. So when you talk about the activities or the functions of a plant, transportation takes place inside a plant. For example, in our previous lesson, we saw that uh, food gets prepared primarily in the leaves of the plant. Photosynthesis takes place only in the green parts of the plant. But you need to transport the food to all other parts of the plant because each and every part of the plant needs the food. So transportation and for transportation you need energy. Reproduction, another important function of a plant and for reproduction also you need energy. You talk about movement. When I say movement, even though the plant doesn't move from one place to another, but there are certain movements which are taking place inside a plant. For example, okay, to, to consider reasonable movements, let us talk about the insectivorous plants. So you can actually see their movements. You can also talk about the touch me not plant. If you touch them, I mean, the leaves start to droop. So all these movements, so everything requires energy. So from where is that energy coming? The energy comes from the food which we eat. So in case of plants, what is that food? That food is nothing but the food which is prepared by the process of photosynthesis. But now we have to see that how is that food getting converted into energy? Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.